Okay, I had a student ask about this question here um, for, for his homework. And basically it has, uh, I'll explain it to you real quick. This is pretty easy to solve on Excel. So we have uh, shipping costs from each factory to each customer and, and how much it costs to, shoot, to ship each unit. And then we have the, the customer requirements that go on the bottom here, how many units each customer requires. And the factory capacity is right here under A, B, and C. And we want to calculate how many units to ship from which factory to which customer in order to minimize shipping costs. So this is um, pretty easy to do in Excel. So what I will do, I'll just go ahead and to save time, I'm just going to copy, copy this right into here. And uh, let me auto fit it. So basically all I did is I just took this information I took factory A, B, and C, and I put the capacity here. Customer is one, two, three. Took these numbers here and put them in here. And I put the requirements below. Um, <clears throat> just, just, uh, just basically took these numbers and put them in here in this way. And we want to minimize the shipping costs. So for a solution, um, what you can do is we could take uh, customer. And uh, one, two, and three. And we're not going to put dollar per unit here. Customer units shipped. And we're just going to guess. And let's go ahead and we're going to take this, the same factory. So I'm going to go equal this. Factory uh, A, B, and C. Okay, I put C. It should be C. All right. And I put D. Sorry about that. And then we're just going to guess to start with one. We're just going to ship one unit to each one. And uh, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum each one of these. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead here to auto sum. And you can see that I shipped three units because one plus one plus one is three. And here I'm going to hit auto sum. Now be careful because I don't want to sum the factory. Right? And then across I ship three units to each customer. And uh, so the cost for what we just shipped is going to be equal to the sum product of these costs times these numbers. You're basically one times this plus one times this. Add them all together. So right now it costs uh, ninety-seven dollars if I ship one unit to each. But the problem is we're not ship we're not satisfying the customers because this customer wanted 245 units, this one wanted 82, this one is 163, and the factory could ship a lot more. This factory can ship 170 and so on. So what we could do is make Excel guess this in order to minimize this. And the way you do that is you use something called solver. So I'm going to go into data and solver, and what I'm going to say is I want this to be a minimum. By changing these cells in here and we need to add some constraints I'm going to say I'm going to add I'm going to say all of these well it's a factory capacity well it has to be less than all of these less than or equal to and I'm going to add another constraint I'm going to say all of these they have to be to satisfy the customer we have to have at least that many I'm going to add one more constraint. I'm going to say all of these have to be an integer because we don't want to ship partial units. And I'm going to go OK. So I have those in. I'm saying all these are in an integer. All these have to be, all these have to be less than or equal to these. And all of these have to be greater than or equal to these, right? Now I just messed this up. So I want to, this, this has to be what I want to minimize right here. So I'm going to minimize this. Change, guess these units in order to make all that happen. And we can leave everything the same and just go solve. And I'm going to accept my solution. And it says this is my minimum cost and, and these are the units I should ship. Okay. Um, so I know I did that pretty fast. If you, if you missed something, go ahead and pause the video and look back and rewind the video. So those are the numbers I put in here. So that's actually pretty easy. Solver is pretty powerful. Remember, if you don't have solver, you have to, usually you can go in here into file and then go into options. 
add-ins and then you want to go to Excel add-ins and then go OK. Oops, let me try that again. File, Options, uh, Add-ins, you go Go. You want to make sure the solver is clicked and then you go OK. I mine is clicked so I'm just going to go Cancel. So that's how you get solver to appear under your data tab. Use that solver. So hopefully that was helpful. So that's the answer. Sometimes Excel, but one thing I'll say is sometimes Excel will find more than one answer, right? And I've also seen sometimes Excel finds a better answer than the book. So that's kind of interesting too. So anyway, that's how I would solve it. It's a quick, quick and dirty way to solve it. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you like my video, my picture will appear up here. Uh, you can click on that picture to subscribe, hit likes. Also, you can ask, ask uh, for future videos notification of future videos. Anyway, thank you. For, thanks for watching. Bye.